Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Uh, last time we did Magma Cone, and then we asked, what's her name? I'm gonna check her name. <laughs> we asked the, 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 you know, satyr lady. This one, is she a fawn or a satyr? Like Elora. Yeah, we asked Elora to go to a new portal and she took us to Crystal Glacier, because she's kind of a jerk. We actually need to go to where we were just looking, Shady Oasis. Uh, that is the place we don't have a talisman yet, so we're gonna go to Shady Oasis this 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 video. Uh, let's just head over there. I mean, I'm assuming it has a talisman. Like, it's not a speedway, so it should, but maybe it doesn't. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And then, in theory, we should have all the talismans in this world and be able to advance to World 3. I'm guessing there are four worlds, judging from the fact that they're named after the seasons, but I could be wrong. It could only be three, and that would be weird, but uh, I guess we'll see. Hmm. Fire, breathing fire. <laughs> yeah, the load times in this version of the game are kind of long. Uh, there's a hippo with a fez. Okay. And a cherry thief. Very large cherries. Oh, okay. Hippo get real big if eats cherry. That was a weird intro. You the hippo? Shorty. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Oh, and then you can smash that door open using your like massive size that you get when you eat things for some reason. Okay, I see. I see what's happening here. Clunk. Did, did that damage me? No, it didn't. It just looked like it did. Okay, well that happened. That was certainly a thing. Can I bring another berry with me? No, it's not dropping any. Hmm, this feels a little racially insensitive. Just a little. As a treat. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Where are you going? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well there's water down there. I can swim in this game, so I might want to hop down there. Okay, that guy's got a big sword and a shield. Okay, you just charge him and he drops his big shield and then you can charge him again. Okay. Okay, so we want to get the berry bush up there so that we can get her to smash the door again. Her? Him? They? I don't know. The, the, the hippo. The hippos have special hippo pronouns or something? I don't know. Oh, okay, this is poison water. You don't want to swim in that. It's just a little bit green. It, it'll damage you because it's slightly green. Oh, it's also giving off, like, smoke and stuff. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's actually really obviously poison water now I look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eat that berry. You can charge and then either flame or charge again. Works fine. Okay. Uh, how are we doing gem wars? Probably okay. 94 out of 400. Got a ways to go. So yeah, this is clearly a, an Arabian Nights theme sort of area. You can see that the talisman is clearly a magic lamp. Um, it's, a, it's a little racially questionable, I would say, in our modern day and age. Um, especially since all these critters are like 
literally have black faces. Hmm. That's a little not great. Hmm. I don't think it's as bad as like Dr. Shemp in the first game, but it's not great. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know, it's pretty bad. <sighs> Gem. Looks like the hippo is completely unaffected by like enemies and stuff, which is interesting. Okay, I can see more loot down there, and I obviously want it, but I think I want to just follow the main path for the moment and see what happens. What is that glowing thing? Can I eat it? I can eat it. And then it's like a an attack? No, no, it is, but I missed. I probably want to spit it at the berry bush and knock down a berry with it. Since, yeah, there's no way I can reach that berry bush. So I need a ranged attack. And flames aren't a ranged attack for some reason. So eating mysterious objects is just the way we have to do things. There we go. Eat that berry. <laughs> Big. Plang. Okay, this is the end of the main area, I think. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Is there a genie in it? Or a gin? It's gin, right? Not genie. D J I W N Gin. Okay, so yeah, I've done the main quest, but there's clearly a whole bunch of side stuff that I haven't done yet. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Is this like a time limit, or I just have to chase them? It's like the lamps are flashing, so I don't know if that's relevant. I'm gonna fly down here because there's a bird. Hello, bird. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, the bird is actually worth an extra life. Interesting. Did not expect that. Anyway, gems, gems, gems. Oh, that one's just a normal bird, okay. So it's just one of them was randomly an extra life, rather than just a butterfly, which is what I anticipated that they all would be. Yep, it's the same thief thing from the previous game. Same questionable racial identity sort of thing. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Not great. Hmm. I think if I just keep running in a circle, I'll actually catch up, judging from the speed they're going at. Ah. Dang. I went the other way. <laughs> I was tricked. The way they're coded is very strange. Look at the movement. <laughs> that is weird. Changing direction in mid-air because they see they're going towards me. Oh my god. That is really broken. <laughs> oh wow. I don't think they had that problem in the first game because the layouts were a bit different. Gotcha. Lamp one of three. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty easy.
you don't really have to chase them or anything. You just come in from above when they're not looking, or when they are looking because they're real slow and kind of bad at this. Uh, hmm, I was hoping I could fly that high, but no, go the other way. I'm not sure how to break open that. Maybe there's a, an explosive device somewhere around that I'm supposed to use? Hmm. Guess we'll see. Anyway, I think if I climb up and go from the middle here, I might be able to glide across. Like this window. Oh, almost. Almost. It seems to be laid out to make uh, exploring in a non-linear fashion really annoying, so I'm not sure why they did that in a game about exploring in a non-linear fashion. <laughs> um, it seems like a, a bit of an oversight. Oops. Dang it. <sighs> I tried. I'm not sure I'd call this an oasis either. Like, we're inside a building. I, I guess they're building, like, they might have started a town in the oasis, but it just, it doesn't quite seem like that's what I, I expect when I hear the word oasis. I don't know. <laughs> like, it, it's, you know, it's like a place in a desert where there's, there's grass and nice stuff and not exactly buildings, but, you know, it's a sensible place to build if it's, like, a nice temperate spot in a desert, I suppose. Okay, now I'm in the middle. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, that's another one of the thieves. Uh, let me just get to that in a little bit. Oh, hey, a rocket. There we go. I'll just launch that, and then I'll break that thing down there. But I won't go down there yet, because getting up here was really annoying. Did I break that one? Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Well, I can grab those later. What's this thing? I meant to just stand on it, or...? I meant to, like, ground pound it, once I get an ability to ground pound. I feel like I need to smash down the top part of it, and I don't have an ability for that yet. have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. Head bash, yeah. So I'm getting I'm guessing that's the next next move. Like the world the, the the move from the next world that I'm going to learn. So I guess I'll look forward to that. Um then I can head bash them and help them. Okay, so this shield yeah it lets me it lets me go on the poison without getting hurt. So I can grab these gems that are on the poison. It'll probably also help me quite a bit uh, chasing after these guys if falling in the poison doesn't affect me. Since, you know, they can't go in the poison. Gotcha! <laughs> okay, two out of three. Yeah, I think I need to head bash that as well. And again, I don't have a head bash move, so I can't do it yet. So this one will not be doable just yet, which is a shame because I was hoping to complete another level today, but I don't think we'll be able to. <sighs> well, we can grab everything that's accessible at the moment, so that's something. Dang it, that was nearly worked. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just climb up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to glide all the way there, but I'm glad to hear and climb up. And yeah, I think there's not much else to do once I do this get this thing opened. Which is taking a little while because it's annoying. But, yeah, to get the rest of this stuff, we're gonna have to come back with Head Bash, which I don't have. Is that last one? No, why would that be the last one? Okay, let's just jump down and grab those purples. There we go. And then... That. It's worth way less than those purples. 
screwed. Okay, we have 340 out of 400, and I'm guessing to get the other two orbs, we're going to... Oh, no, wait. Hang on, there's one more thief to catch. Now we'll get us an orb. So, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we can catch the third thief still, probably. If I can find them. Keep doing that. <laughs> I wonder if standing on that little seam on the wall there would help me just jump for it to another spot and maybe get up that way. I think I'm in the wrong, wrong location for that to work, but it would be cool. Cool little trick. There we go. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that or if there's like a much easier way that I'm not seeing. Chances are there's a much easier way that I'm not seeing because it seems absurd that you'd have to do that. <laughs> And again, there's a couple of things where you have to do stuff like that, but usually just the once. Like, you do it and you get the reward, and then you don't have to come there ever again. Uh, is the last thief back here somewhere? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just go back through the level and see if I can find him. Yep, there they are. Here I come, final, final thief. I think that would gain me a lot of speed, but it didn't really. Ooh, close. We're getting close. Yeah! Okay, that's all the lamps. Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Orb. Okay, I think we're done here for now. Um, let me see. There's another 20 treasure, and there's another orb. I know I need the head bash for the orb. I'm guessing the treasure that we can't get yet is inside this, which seems to be a head bashable thing. It's got a target on the top. So I guess we come back once we've got the ability to do those things. Right? Because, yep, that's what Sparks is circling. Uh, patrol walking past it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I guess we're done here for now. That was quick. Let's go ahead and do the boss. <laughs> I'm guessing the boss will be hilariously easy again, because that's been the pattern for bosses in this game. But yeah, we'll just go ahead, do the boss, make our way into the third world, which I guess summer, autumn, winter? Is winter next? Or did we start in spring? Are we going the other way? I have to check what the first one was. I think it was summer forest, which would mean the next one is winter. <sighs> well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Gulp. Are you ready? Yep. Bring him on. Have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Okay, I'm guessing I have to spit things at Gulp. Overlook. Why is an overlook down? That's the wrong direction. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Goodbye, flame breath. Lunch time. <laughs> okay, so Gulp's got like laser cannons on his back or something. I guess. 
I don't know. That's what it looks like. Cannon Soup's laser? Maybe? Possibly? Go. Finish him off and you can have all the berries you can eat. Enjoy this. Okay, I think I need to get objects dropped so that I can use... Oh, I see. Eggs? Uh, barrels? Okay. Um... Oh, I see. A pretty short range. Yeah, that's a laser cannon, all right. Hey, pterodactyls, drop me some fairies. Not oh, fairies, are butterflies to give my dragonfly. Bombs? Oh, jeez, those are some really accurate attacks he's got there. Mm, okay, I said this was gonna be easy, and I guess I cursed myself into making it not easy. Oops. <laughs> These hatch me get barrels. One. Okay, then he starts using the laser cannon. I'm probably gonna charge so that we can dodge the laser shots because they're very accurate. Um, <laughs> take that gulp. Okay, so you probably want to jump to dodge those, actually, rather than charge. Yeah, jumping does the trick. Okay. Oh, I meant to pick it up. Okay. <sighs> I don't know about this boss fight design. I can apparently pick up these rockets now, even though until now all I could do was ignite them and have them go off on their own. Alright. Okay, so what I want to do when he starts shooting the lasers is jump. Because they hit a place on the ground by the looks of things. I saw a rocket, but it's gone now. Ow. Pterodactyls, give me good stuff. Jumping doesn't do it either. I don't really understand what you're supposed to do. Uh, I killed that chicken and didn't didn't get sparks back. Is that a bug? What happened? I killed two chickens and I didn't get any health back. I, I saw a butterfly. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know about this design. I mean, it's definitely harder than the first one, so that's better, but it's not good. <laughs> oh my god, I got stuck. The boss cam is not good. 
it does not work well. I don't understand dodging any of this. It's just... Oh my god. Like, sometimes he shoots somewhere different, sometimes he shoots exactly where I am, and I don't know what determines the difference. Ow. Hmm. I was not expecting that to be this to be much harder than the level we just did, but it, it is so far. I'm also not a fan of the really long loading time every time I die. It shouldn't need to reload the whole thing. Like, it's already loaded all these assets onto the, onto the level so it could do the first version before I died. Yeah, steering um, Spyro's charge with this boss camera is really bad really, really bad. It's just completely unintuitive. Oh my god. Also, I don't understand how to dodge those attacks either. Well, that works. Somehow. Mm. I got a chicken. It should have... <sighs> don't like this. <laughs> like, the bosses in the first game were all hilariously easy. Um, the ones in this game are mostly easy. At least the first couple were. This one is harder. And I don't think it's better for being harder. Okay, I think I need to change direction when he starts shooting. Yeah. Okay, okay, I think that's it. Okay, okay, I've got something going on now. Being fast isn't important, you just gotta switch direction. Because he, he predicts your movements, but if you suddenly change direction, he has no idea what you're doing. Basically, which is interesting. And we're back. Sorry about that. <sighs> Hopefully I don't just immediately die. Oop. Okay, he's getting a bit more aggressive with that attack. And that attack. Uh, that's not good. I need to change direction every time he shoots? Maybe? Hmm. I am literally confused. Okay, so he starts with charging, that's easy. Just just run away, wait for the barrels. I don't know how I survived that. The camera just did not know what was happening. Ah, oh, I took a hit. Dang it. Is 
yeah, changing direction works at this stage. You just flip the stick the other way as soon as you start shooting, basically. Ugh, dang it. Didn't work that time. Hmm. Skill points acquired. Is that for dying a lot? Hmm. Meow. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to charge too much because the camera doesn't like it. Which is a shame because he has an attack where he charges at you and you want to charge to get out of the way. Um, otherwise that happens. Just to just demonstrate the problem. Um, hmm. Over here, jerk. Seriously? Alright. There we go. Can you change direction between all of them? <clears throat> that didn't quite work. Chicken also. Okay, okay, we're down to half health. We're, we're going alright. We're going alright. Okay, okay. back up, which is much more important than the actual life. Yeah, he definitely follows your movement if you move in a straight line. You have to dodge between the different attacks. thing again. Okay, uh, am I out of sparks? I think I am. Why did that happen so quickly? Oh, seriously? Uh, that resets the whole battle. I went from, like, gold sparks to no sparks and, like, one hit somehow. Ugh. Why is this one so much harder than the previous? What kind of difficulty curve is this? Like, crunch took me milliseconds.
Isn't curving quickly enough. You definitely don't want to charge to beat the um, green blob attack uh, because you need to change direction really quick. Okay, I got a sparks. Just one though. Eat that box. Eat it. Eat the butterfly. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're gold. We're gold. We're gold. We're doing fine. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Seriously? I was going full speed. Okay, one point left, one point left. Last one, last one, we can do this. We can do this, we can do this, come on, come on, give us some more stuff to hurt him with. Ow. Yes! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Bye, Ripto. Oh, oh. We did it. Spyro, you did it. I know, right? Oh, Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you I mean, it just fell out the window. The creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Are they? I mean, I was helping them do war since and stuff. So much for Avalar. And since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on... Winter Tundra, Next Winter World. Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. You're inside, Spyro. You're inside a, a, a boss arena. Uh -huh. Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. You slept for like a couple of milliseconds. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the Winter Tundra and then we're done. I wasn't expecting that boss battle to be much harder than the first one, but it was. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gulp defeated. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. 
Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Oh. <laughs> so, you thought it's crystal parking now? Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, yeah, he would do that. Crystal. Capitalism. Try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something quick. Uh, hey, give that back. God, they're all incompetent. <laughs> well, I tried. You little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> so are there only three worlds? It feels like this is the last one. But it'd be weird to have the seasons and only have three worlds, so I, I don't know. Maybe there's a fourth one. Spiral, Ripto's still alive, and he's left us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. I know, I saw the cutscene. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, um, I think that's about it for this video. I just wanted to have a quick glance at this world more than anything else. It looks very wintry. Uh, you can see there's some stuff that we need to head bonk or whatever. Like a, like a Goombella, but that can wait. Yeah, I'm guessing we'll be able to smash those big rocks and well, probably... Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And, like all the best things, it, uh, doesn't come cheap. Okay, so this is the last world, I think. Thousand gems for head bash? Sure. Move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, and then press the action button. Alright. Yeah, looks good. Yep, I can smash rocks. I'm guessing I can smash this thing, too. Yep. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to backtrack to Autumn Plains using this new move uh, to get the things we missed, and then we're going to actually do some Winter Tundra things. So, look forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And that boss was way harder than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye! Hi, penguins. <laughs> Bye. Oh, it's just an orb in there. Just, just sort of hanging out. Okay. Bye bye. Because <laughs> yeah, we should be able to get the remaining things back in Autumn Plains using the head bonk move in theory. There's a lot of stuff we missed there though. Jeez. Hmm. Anyway, we'll be coming back for that in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. <laughs>